fourth part E, this is where the mathematics comes in. They give you a value for x. They want to know the probability of, of if 17 and only 17 people contacted had made money. That's when you're going to use the binomial coefficient. Get ready, here it comes. So N choose K, 25 houses, choose 17. That's what you're looking for. So 25, 17, do that part first. So 25 factorial over 17 factorial times 25 minus 17, 8 factorial. Do the math. There's that factor. Circle it. Oh, wait. The second part of the binomial coefficient problem is P raised to the K. So the P is the probability of success. What is that? That's 0 0.80. So 0 0.8, parentheses, raised to the K, 17, times the probability that it's not going to happen. That's 1 minus P, so 1 minus 0 0.0, I'm sorry, 0 0.8 is 0.2 raised to the difference between the n and the k. So 25 minus 17 is 8. The whole thing looks like this. 25 choose 17 times 0.8 raised to the 17 times 0.2 raised to the 8. Do all that mathematically, you are done. Here's the answer. Now, back to part E. You can use your Excel spreadsheet to figure this out. You have to go to the formula bar. Type in equal sign binome dist. B-I-N-O-M, D-I-S-T, parentheses. When you open up that first parentheses, it asks you, it'll prompt you questions. In Excel, it does it a little bit backwards. It asks you for the K number first. In this problem, you would type in equal binome dist parentheses 17 comma 25 is the number of tri trials comma the p is the percentage of success is 0.8 comma close parentheses hit enter that will give you a partial answer don't over what that really means is when you use excel spreadsheet and only excel spreadsheet as far as i can tell so far is that when you use that binome dist formula it is 17 or less than 17. So that gives you the probability of, of either hitting 17 yeses, 16 yeses, 15 yeses, 14 yeses, all of those. So what you've got to do in Excel spreadsheet is you do equal binome dist parentheses 17 comma 25 comma your percent is 0.8 comma minus, here it comes, same thing, binome dist parentheses 16 comma 25.8 comma close parentheses enter what you're doing is you're finding out what it is 17 or less subtracting out what 16 or less is that will give you exactly what 17 equals i'm going to go ahead and gene that for you guys